Speed is of the essence. So this right here is the skeleton of a 1970s rotary dial GPO, General Post Office Telephone. Uh, it has your nice satisfying click as you put down the receiver. Uh, it's got a couple of bells here for ringing. You can hear them there. Well, sort of, kind of hear them down there. And then you've got obviously your nice rotary dial right here. Now, I have had this for a while. Somebody gave it to me uh, as a birthday present. I think they just picked it up cheap at a charity shop. Um, and I really like it because, you know, it's your kind of classic red colour. It needs a bit of tidying up. You can see there's some marks on the top there and stuff, but it's in pretty good condition and I'd like to get it working now. The problem is, one, it has got one of these, which is like the old-fashioned um, telephone lines in the back, uh, so obviously that's not going to work now, but also the way that telephone networks are structured now, um, a lot of these phones just won't work. Uh, even when you change out the cables in the back and do some tinkering to them, uh, because of the way that the new, you know, phone i don't know how it works but <laughs> basically but uh, basically how the new phone lines work is that uh, a lot of these older phones even if you fix them will only be able to receive calls and not make them but even if uh, this phone doesn't work here uh, which probably is not the case because i am rural and it's very unlikely that anyone has done any work to the phone lines since the 1970s uh, i'm still going to try and give it a, a, a little um, go at fixing it now what you can do is you can just order the kit online. All you need is a little tiny, I think it's like a 3 ohm resistor or something minuscule like that that you swap into the back there with some other pieces. You need a new telephone line. And you also need this, which is, I don't really know what it is, like a little capacitor or something like that. And this you put over a certain point uh, to stop the kind of horrible sounds that you get if there's too much current going down the phone line. Now, this one, it looks like, already has that installed back here, so I'm actually not going to mess with that. It's not necessary, really, just to get it working. Uh, so, yeah. Now, I, yeah, like I say, I just ordered this off eBay. It didn't cost too much. It all came in a kit. There was a wee instruction manual, and the guy even included uh, a little piece of uh, circular sticky backed paper that you can put on here. This is like the, the thing, but I'm just going to keep this. Uh, it just says Delta 999 and Oban and all this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, really nice. Also, the <laughs> this this is the bag that it all came in, and it's really nice, but it stinks of cigarette smoke, which I think says a lot about the person selling these. I'm just imagining a man sitting like in an old telephone bank, surrounded by hundreds of these phones, smoking 50 a day and just bagging up like loads and loads of little uh, tiny 3 ohm resistors. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to give it a try. I do have the case here, in case you're wondering. Uh, I just took that off off camera. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't, it should work. I was, I was going to say it shouldn't be too difficult, but knowing my luck, something will probably go wrong. But uh, I'm going to try and follow some guides and see what should happen. It should only be a case of swapping out a few wires, but if the whole thing doesn't work, it's not really too much of a loss. Okay, wish me luck. As you can see there, uh, all I've done is taken out this cable and then I've uh, taken it off here. I've moved this little link down to here to make a complete set. And I've taken out this link here um, between that's T1, 2, 3 and 4 and I'm going to put the little resistor over that. Hello? Does it work? Yeah, can go. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. That's brilliant. Yeah.
Well, I guess we can refer to that as a partial success. Uh, the phone worked, I managed to take all this out. Uh, we called in, we called out. Uh, we're not on the new phone line system. Um, so, you know, the phone still works perfectly fine. The problem with it is, and maybe if there's any um, phone line orientated people out there that know what's going on, it completely kills our internet, uh, which is something I'd heard of. I've heard that if you wire these, sometimes if you connect it up to your telephone line, uh, it just completely destroys uh, the, the, the internet speeds. So, you know, it works, but it comes at a bit of a cost. I think, to be honest, I would prefer to be able to uh, browse the internet than have uh, a neat phone that that, that uh, rings in an interesting way. But uh, I'm going to put this all back together and then um, connect it up one more time and you can just see it in action. So, uh, as clarification, dial tone can be heard. Uh, we can dial out, so let's dial my phone at a ridiculously slow pace. Uh, Ta-da! The house is being called... No, wait, the house is calling me. <laughs> so, yeah, it dials out just fine, hangs up just fine, um, which was the thing I was worried about. I didn't know whether it would uh, actually call out. Uh, and you can call the house. So let's try that. Listen to that sound. Hello! So yeah, it sounds pretty good. Uh, the only thing that I need to make sure and do now is disconnect it because like I say, um, I'm fairly sure it ruins the internet speeds um, if not completely destroying them. Uh, I don't really know why that is. Uh, I'm going to hang up now. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know why that is. I assume it's got something to do with the fact that it's this kind of old phone line system. Um, but maybe there's something I can do, maybe an adapter I can buy or something that'll, that'll uh, help that. But it's a cool little project, but buyer beware. I would not go out and buy one of these, um, one that's either been refurbished or, for your, or to refurbish yourself as a phone that you're going to use in your house because it's probably going to not work down the line and it's also probably going to disrupt your internet or possibly do it. What I would say is if you've got an old one of these and you would like to just do it up just so that you get the novelty of ringing it now and then and in a power cut you could hook it up, fine. But um, but yeah, that is the 1970s GPO telephone, nice and red and working fine. One thing I'll say is if this thing ever stops being unable to call out, wait, if this thing ever is not able to call out in a few years time, I could just rip that off and put a nice big red button on it like something out of Batman. Now that would be cool. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!